Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover the commands for looking at the specific hardware subsystems of your computer. In a previous video, we looked at commands that show you the hardware of your computer. In this video, we are going to drill down and look at commands that look at specific hardware subsystems. To get more information on the CPU, we have the lscpu command. So let's take a look at the output. And as you can see, it's a 64-bit machine. It's got two CPUs. It's got um, two cores. And in this case, it's an Intel machine. There's the clock speed. And if you really want to geek out, you can even get the cache sizes of the L1, L2, and L3 caches. So that's pretty much the LSCPU command. I'm going to quit out of there. I'm also going to take a look at the file from the HP. And as you can see, it's pretty similar information. Right, now that machine's also a 64-bit machine, two CPUs, two cores. The main difference is that it was using a um, AMD processor instead of the Intel processor. And it looks like the clock speeds are a lot slower as well. All right, that's pretty much it for that. Next, we are going to look at the USB devices connected to the machine using the LSUSB command. I'm going to take a look at the pre-made version from my laptop. So you can see here that these are all the USB connected devices. So it starts off with Realtek, which is the wireless device. Then there's Quanta, which is the webcam. And then these are all the uh, USB ports. And here is my thumb drive that's plugged in. So let's go one step further and get more detailed information on that thumb drive. So in order to do that, you have to do LSUSB with the verbose option, dash V for verbose. And we're actually going to select a very specific device. So the device we're going to select is a SanDisk. And if you see up here in the highlight, it is bus two device two. So that's why I have two colon two here to select a specific device. Okay, and once you do that, again, we're going to cheat and look at the one on the pre-made one from the laptop. So now you have a lot more information. So we know that it's a SanDisk Cruiser, right? So it gives you the make and model. It also gives you a serial number. So this is interesting because this could be important in the forensics world. Serial numbers are usually not printed on USB thumb drives. So this is one way of uniquely identifying a specific USB device. And you can match this serial number with the logs from a machine to see if this specific device was ever plugged into that machine. The command to see the PCI bus is the LSPCI command. So let's take a look at the output from the HP laptop. And here you can see all the devices that are on the PCI bus, including your network and audio controllers. So go ahead and quit that. And with the LSPCI command, there is a verbose flag that will get you more information on the specific controllers. There are actually three levels of verbose. You start with a dash V for verbose, then dash VV for very verbose, and lastly dash VVV for, I guess, very, very, very verbose. So let's take a look at the output from the HP. So as you can see, for each controller, 
it actually gets very detailed into what those controllers are and what kinds of protocols they support. And this is really getting into the weeds. And it's probably only useful if you're writing drivers for these devices. To view block devices, which are devices that hold data such as hard drives and thumb drives and such, we have the lsblock command. Let's take a look at the version from the HP. So here you can see the output. It basically tells you that you have a device called SDA. It is approximately 30 gigs in size and it contains two partitions. And actually both partitions are currently mounted to those mount points. You also have a second device named SDB and it's a seven and a half gig device. And it's got three partitions, the first of which is mounted to that mount point. And we will talk about the mount points in a future video. So let's go ahead and quit. A useful option for LS block is the dash capital S option, which will show the SCSI devices. And by SCSI devices, it pretty much means most of the hard drives and USB devices attached to that system. Let's take a look at the output from the HP. So here you see that for each device, so there's the name, it gives you the make and model, which is very helpful to identify those devices. It also tells you the type of device. So in this case, it's a SATA device. So more than likely, this is a uh, internal hard drive. And you can also see here that the second device, SDB, is identified as a SanDisk Cruiser, and it is a, identified as a USB device. So we can quit out of there. So LS block with the dash capital S option is very useful when you want to identify all of the hard drives and thumb drives attached to that system. What I covered so far in this video are commands that show you information about the hardware of your system. But you can also see that information by looking into the slash proc folder, which holds the process information for your system. We will go into more details about other parts of this folder in a future video. But let's take a look at some files. The first one is CPU info. This shows us that processor zero is an Intel processor. Uh, that's the clock speed. And these are the flags that the CPU uses to run. And then as we go down, we have processor one, which is also an Intel processor of that particular family, so on and so forth. Second file we're going to look at is called meminfo. And what this is going to show you is basically the memory usage. We have about four gigs of memory in the system. Next thing we are going to look at are the SCSI drives, or as I mentioned before, basically most of the hard drives in the current systems and thumb drives. So if you look at there, in this system it tells us that we have a CD-ROM attached, and a hard drive attached. Let's take a look at the example from the HP. From there, you can see that there is a hard drive attached and then a thumb drive attached. Let's now look, take a look at the partitions on my virtual machine, there's the optical drive. And then here is the physical drive with one partition. Let's take a look at the same thing on the HP. On that machine, you can see the hard drive has two partitions and the thumb drive that's plugged in has three partitions. And those are the sizes of those partitions. And lastly, we can look at this file here, mdstat, to see about RAID configurations. 
So if we actually had a RAID device attached to this system, this would kind of show us whether it's a RAID 0 or RAID 1 or RAID 5 and what devices are being used and so forth. So basically the idea is that not all distros have the same commands. So it's always good to know different ways of getting the same information. And so we learn about a bunch of different commands about the hardware that gets similar but different information. And then we also looked at how to use the slash proc folder to get some of that information as well. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about using various commands to look at the hardware subsystems of your computer. We looked at LSCPU, LSUSB, LSPCI, and LS Block. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.